Uh, hello friends today in this uh, live stream i will be talking about a new javascript library which is basically a audio visualization library so in this application we will basically allow the user to select a audio file and then basically it will generate this audio visualization audio waveform of this audio file let me just uh, refresh it we have basically uh, have a choose file button and then we have got two buttons out there to play the audio and pause the audio and basically if I play this audio guys sorry if I choose the file here and go to videos and basically if I click this audio you will see that basically this will generate this audio here you will see that and now we have two buttons if I click the play button it will play and if I click pause I can't play the audio because of copyright issue let me just select any other audio uh, you can see if I change this to this one it will again change here you will see that so you can see that it's mp3 file you can basically select any audio file OGG WAV file so it will basically generate this audio waveform so it is very much useful whenever you are trying to basically find the locations in the audio file where the actual audio take place so it will basically have uh, no other waveforms whenever there is no audio and it will have a higher waveforms when there is a very loud audio so this is a waveform audio visualization library for javascript you can basically select any video audio file and it will generate this audio form like this so it's a very handy library i will be showing you step by step how to implement this library the name of the library is wavesurfer.js so if you just go to google and just type the name of this library just type web surfer js this is basically the open source library guys which allows you to basically do this audio audio customizable waveform visualization it is built on top of web audio api and html5 canvas so we will be using this library i have given all the source code guys in the description of the video so basically you need to go to the description and copy paste all the source code so now let's get started by building this application so the very first thing we will do just create an index.html file here and basically we will change the title wave surfer js example so here guys we will basically have a input type of file where we allow the user to we will only accept the audio file so audio slash star and it is required and basically here we will be giving an id to it of audio file input that's all and then guys we will have the div element where we will be displaying this so we will be giving an id to it of waveform and then we will be having two buttons guys first for play audio and the second button will be for pausing pause audio so we need to give uh, ids to both these buttons so you'll say play button and the second one will be pause button that's all so you can see that guys we have got this much of html if i open this you will see we have got choose file button and we have got two buttons so now we need to write the javascript so just write the javascript guys here and basically now we will first of all get all the references of all the element so first of all we will get the references to waveform container so wherever you need to display it so we have given the id to it of waveform so we will basically get the reference of that element and also audio file input so we have given this input element an id if you see we have given audio file input so we will also uh, get the reference of this also like this and also guys we will get the references of the play button and the pause button so document dot get element by id pause button so you can see we have get uh, get all the references of all the dom elements now we just need to initialize the basically the library so for initializing it we will basically declare this variable wave surfer and this contains this wave surfer constructor guys and here it contains this method which is create and uh, i forgot to include the cdn for this library guys 
the I have given all the source code in the description of the video. Simply include the CDN right here. You can see HTTP and package.com wave server.js. So using this, we got this wave server.create. And here we just need to basically pass the container. It takes an option container. And here we just need to pass the waveform container. We have got the reference of the element where we will be doing this. So we have got the ID like this. And then we are passing it. So after this guys, basically now we will ch be checking. We will be adding an event listener to it. So whenever this changes, this function will execute callback function. So whenever your input file changes, this event will automatically occur on change. And here we will basically get the file. So we will basically have const files and this dot files. And then basically we will check that uh, if the files or the file selected by the user is null in that in either of these cases we just need to return or if the file selected by the user exists then we need to convert them into url so we will basically make a new url file url and here we will use basically the url class and it contains a method create object url and here we will pass the audio file which is inside files zero so now guys we just need to load the audio file using this library so we will use the wave surfer it contains a method called as load and here we will pass the file url that's all so if you now do this guys if i try to refresh it if i select a video uh, audio file and now you will see that nothing will happen let me see why it is doing so Uh, let me check guys if I have written all the correct code sometimes error can take place uh, let me just console log this file URL and also files this dot files let me go to inspect element so whenever there is some kind of problem guys you can go to inspect element to basically inspect it it is saying that it is coming to be undefined let me check i think this is audio file input we have given this id audio file input So what I will do guys, I will basically paste this code here inside. You can go to the description of the video and basically copy paste this code. So sometimes uh, in live coding, some errors can take place. So that's why I, if I just refresh it now, if I choose the audio file, you will now see now it will generate this audio waveform. If you select any audio file here like this so it was just a problem of writing the code now we if i click the play button guys i need to basically play the audio for playing the audio we can basically bind a event listener to the play and the pause button so play button add event listener so when we click this we need to basically use the wave surfer play method which uh, plays the audio and similarly we have the pause method as well So here just replace pause. So now if you refresh it guys, so what will happen here? So if I click play, so now the audio is playing. I have disabled the audio, but you can see, you can see the seek bar is moving here in the direction. You will see that. If I click pause, it will stop. If I again play, it will stay. You will see. So in this way guys, you can basically uh, build a audio waveform of a selected audio file inside the browser using this library, awesome library, wavesurfer.js. 
Thank you very much for watching this video and I will be seeing you in the next live stream.